All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim, Krakadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Word, and He calls Jesus Christ. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will be on time, which is truth according to the Bible, and Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, there, there the folk on the earth, pushing His Word and all righteousness and sincerity, Shalom. As your fellow brother Kazatba from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina. Come back with another just quick lesson. Do this being prayer, y'all by Shimiao Shai. And um just want to go into how, you know, as we get closer and closer into the end, the more that this devil Esau Eden, the so called white man, is gonna ramp up with his um, you know, uh his force coming down upon, you know, uh the men of the Lord and the word that we're teaching, okay? And um, as he do these things, we got to pray to Yahweh Hashem Shai that the Lord protects us, all right, you know, um, keeps us safe, keeps us our mental sane, and all these things, man, okay? You know, because the way this man is about to come is about to be, uh, you know, very, very violent, okay? And very, very, um, he's about to come down with wrath, man, okay? As the scriptures say. So um, I'm going to get these scriptures to just to, you know, to help you uh, cope. Not only cope, but comfort you in the spirit of your how about Shimia Oshai and you know to comfort your spirit and and strengthen you. Okay, so with this we get the uh, matter of fact, we'll start off with the book of uh, Revelation saying that this devil is actually going to come down with great wrath. Okay, this book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Now, woe means death and destruction. Okay? You know, calamities. Okay? All right? Hard times. Tribulation. Okay? Now, it says, for the devil, which the word devil just means deceiver. You know? El Diablos. Okay? The deceiver. All right? So, this devil is deceiver. He's a what? A forger of lies, as the scriptures say. Okay? It says... For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. All right. So the wrath that he's coming with is going not to be regular wrath, but great wrath. So he's coming down with, you know, wrath never seen before. Okay. All right. And this is all through the spirit and prayer of Yahweh Shimon Shai. The Lord has given him that power to do so. Okay. You know, it says, because he knows that he have but a short time kind. This devil knows that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, just like we know, okay? This devil knows the so-called white man, Esau Edom. You know, starting off, you know, of course, your elite of Esau Edom, your, your uh, Oppenheimers, you, your Gettys, your DuPonts, okay? Your uh, uh, Rockefellers, your uh, your Rothschilds, okay? All these families, man, okay? You know, and so forth, what? They know, just like we know. That Lord Yahweh Shai is on a return. So what? They know that they have a short time to rule left, man. Okay? So I'm read against this because he knoweth that he have but a short time. That's why he's going to come down with great wrath. Okay? So within that, you know, so the martial law, the death and destruction, you know, uh, the, the him causing a famine, okay, purposely, you know, to starve out the people. You know what he wants to do. He wants to reduce the population, man. Okay? Uh, letting out diseases. All these things this devil's gonna do, man, in that time. But all we have to do is what trust in Yahweh by Shimia Oshai and pray to the Lord, man. We gotta have the same mind frame as King David. You know, that's why I wanna get to Psalms. The book of Psalms uh one hundred forty. You know. And Psalms hey, King David was always praying to the Lord, man. And the Lord always, you know, came through for King David. So this is who we need to look up as one of our examples of how to, you know, pray to the Lord. Is the book of Psalms, um, 140, I'm starting verse 1. It says, to the chief musician, a psalm of David. And it says, deliver me, O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So all rip, King David is asking Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to deliver him. Okay. All right, so we should also, all right, deliver from what it says, Oh, yeah, how about Shimia you know, Shai from the evil man? Who's that evil man? Esau, Edom, the so called white man. Okay, we're asking the Lord to deliver us from this devil, man. 
Okay, because he's gonna this devil's gonna get you know majority of our people, which is the two thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay, you know, and he might even scoop up. Well, according to scriptures, he's gonna scoop up some some few of the elect of the nation of Israel. But guess what? Not all of us. All right, but with even with that, hey, the Lord can still deliver us, and no matter what. All right, it says, from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man. Remember, we just read that what. He's going to come down with great wrath. We're asking the Lord to preserve, which is to keep us from what? Being spoiled or taken. All right. You know, another word for spo spoiled means robbed or taken. You know, it says what? Preserve me from the violent man or what? Keep me from being spoiled, robbed, you know, exploited, you know, from what? The violent man, Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, a man is going to come down with great wrath. It says, which imagine of mischiefs in their heart. And what? They imagine what? To do evil things in their heart. Scripture said what? They lay upon a bed. They can't, they can't uh, uh, stop dreaming about it. You know, they want their enterprise to happen, man. Okay, the new world order. It says, continually are they gathered together for war. All right, and aren't these devils always gathered for some type of war, man? Okay, you know you got the war over there in the Middle East right now, which is only going to escalate until World War Three. You know, but this devil has always been at the forefront of war. All right, it says they have sharpened their tongue like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Salah. It says, "Keep me, O Yahweh, by Shmuel Shai, from the hands of the wicked." So what? We want Yahweh Bashim to keep to keep us from the hands of the wicked. Your hands represent power. You know, where your power lies at the grips. Alright, so we want Yahweh Bashim to keep us out of the hands or the grips of this devil. Okay, the evil man. This is the wicked. It says, preserve me from the violent man. Alright, remember, he's saying what? Save me. Keep me from being spoiled, exploited from what? This evil wicked man. Okay? Who have purpose to overthrow my goings and that's talk, really talk about what he's has purpose to overthrow the elect of the nation of israel man okay why because he know he has a short time to rule so he's trying to get rid of all of israel you know why do you think they're going to try to implement the um the mob all right the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast all right you know because what they want to make sure that you know there's no point of Yahweh Shai coming back, man. Because <laughs> Yahweh Shai is coming back to save his elect and establish his kingdom. But if you could chip everybody, what? There ain't nobody to save. So this is what the devil's, you know, trying to do. Okay? He's trying to overthrow our goings. He says, The proud have hid a snare for me. I guess that proud is Esau, you know, so called white man. Okay? It says, The proud have hid a snare for me. What? This devil's trying to trap us up. It says, In courts, they have spread a net. By the wayside, they have set gins for me. What? Nothing but traps, man. Okay? All right? But through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, the Lord is uh, protecting us. Okay? It says, He said unto the, I say, so I said unto the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Shah, thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Yahweh. All right? And that's what we're saying to Yahweh, by Shema Shah. All right, that what he's our God, all right, and we're asking Yahweh by Shemal Shai to hear our prayers, you know. So King David was asking these things, you know. He's one of our, our great forefathers, so we should follow in the same like mind frame, man. Okay, calling upon Yahweh by Shemal Shai to hear our prayers, that what he preserve us from that evil and wicked man. Okay, it says, "O power, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, Thou hast covered my head." In the day of battle, okay, he what protected him. It says, Grant not, O Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai, the desires of the wicked. Because what do the wicked, these elites desire? They desire to what? Destroy all of Jacob and rule this uh, planet, man, under wickedness, man, the new world order. It says, It says, Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Yep, you know, because if they were able to do it, they will exalt themselves and be proud, you know, N not giving no credit to the Lord. Okay. You know, but credit to themselves. It says, Salah, it says, as for, as for the head 
of those that compass me about. Let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Yep, and we're asking Yahweh by Shemuel Shai to destroy their enterprise, man. Okay, oh, even though we're outnumbered and it looks like we're about to lose the battle, guess what? It's written that we have the victory. Okay, it says, Let burning coals fall upon them, let them ice be thermonuclear missiles, let them be cast into the fire, into the deep pit, that they rise not up again. Let not the evil, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him, which evil means bad times, man. Okay, so don't let an uh, evil man, okay, a man that's what not after the will of Yahweh by Shimei Asha be established on this earth. And the Lord is about to, is taking this man out of power, okay, and he's allowing bad times to to pursue <laughs> Uh, this evil man, the, you know, Esau, Edom, man, okay, you know, so, you know, I just wanted to get that in the spirit, man, Yahweh Shema Oshai is gonna, you know, deliver his elect, man, okay, matter of fact, we'll read a little bit more, verse, you know, it says, verse 12, it says, I know that Yahweh Shema Oshai will maintain the cause of the afflicted, okay, the Lord hears our, you know, our cries, and he's gonna fight for us, okay, it says, and the right of the poor, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. All right, they go to know the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Praise Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Saint the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Call Holoim Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which means thank you, you know, to the Lord and all praises to the Lord, man. Okay, it says, The upright shall dwell in thy presence. All right, so that was the end of that chapter and stuff. What this is what a prayer of King David, man, a song of King David, man. All right, this is the same mind frame that we need to have since we know that this devil is coming down with great wrath. <clears throat> All right, and with that faith, guess what? We believe wholeheartedly that the Lord will protect us from this devil, man. Okay, so with that, I hope this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel, it gives you comfort in your spirit to know that you know we have these names of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and this word and that the Lord is going to protect us in that time so with that I'd like to give all praises honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son Yahweh by Shemuel Shai by Shemuel Karkadash double honors to my apostles and elders a great millstone who well taught me the truth according to the Bible and Shalom to the elect of the nation Israel until next time to the elect say Shalom and the Bible ball <laughs>